Okay, so I have a simple setup here with a single camera and a cube that I've just dragged out from starter content and a wall and a floor just to frame it up. I've created a matinee actor already just by going to matinee add matinee and then inside that matinee actor I've just created one single camera group for that single camera and put it into a director group. I then have made that matinee actor play on level load. So what we're going to talk about today is how to use the event track inside matinee. The first thing I'm going to do is to lock my viewport to my camera given that we're just using one camera and that means it's going to frame up nicely on what we're looking at. You know already that you can easily create a simple animation on anything by turning on simulate physics. So here if you select the cube and you go down to the physics section you can check this box next to simulate physics and if we play you'll see that our cube which was floating in space will now fall. But what say you don't want that to happen right at the very beginning of your matinee sequence? What say you want it to happen a bit later to have the sense that it's being caused by something else that you might be animating in your scene? To do that you need to use what's called an event track inside matinee. So let's have a go at doing that now. So I'm going to open my matinee actor and then I'm going to select my cube, go back into my matinee actor and add a new empty group which will be attached to my cube. So remembering to check that you just right click go to actors and you should see your cube name down here. With that track selected now what I'm going to add is an event track so I'm going to add new event track and in this track all you have to do is define the point where you want your particular event to trigger. So we have a sequence that is five seconds long and let's say we want our cube to start falling at the one second mark. So I'm going to put my playback head at the one second mark and with the event track selected I'm going to hit return to enter that keyframe. And the only thing you have to do on an event track is define the start point of the event and give that event a name. So I'm going to call this falling. Okay, so we've set up our matinee, we've got our cube in there, we've got our event track, we've got a keyframe called falling at the beginning. I can now close the matinee actor and save everything. And the next thing you have to do is out here in the viewport you need to select your shape cube and go back down to the physics section. And we want simulate physics to be on but we want start awake to be turned off and that means that the physics won't be generated straight away when the level loads. Instead it's going to wait for some kind of a message from a blueprint to tell it when to trigger and that's what we're going to use that event keyframe for. So now we just need to add the items to our blueprint so that we can trigger that event that we set up. To do that first we need to add a reference to our matinee actor. So I've got the matinee actor selected and I'm going to the blueprint button and opening my level blueprint. Now I've tabbed mine here which you might want to do as well. So with that matinee actor selected I'm going to right click on the graph area making sure I've got this context sensitive checkbox checked. Down here with that checked it's going to give me references to the actor that I have selected. So I'm going to choose this first one, create a matinee controller for matinee actor 1. Now if it comes in like mine has and you can't see your event here, you should see your event happening there next to it, you need to right click and choose refresh nodes and then it will, the event that you've created will appear down there ready for you to connect up. Next we need to add a reference to our cube so select the cube out in the viewport go back into your blueprint and right click again and create a reference to that shape cube. And now we're going to add a node called wake rigid body so I'm right clicking in the blank area again and this time you want your context sensitive checkbox to be off and you just type in wake is enough and then you want to choose this one here wake rigid body. 
Alright, so all we need to do now is to connect everything up. Now when we connect the shape cube to the target, it will pop in this little extra node that it needs, so just rearrange that. And then all you've got to do is connect the falling to the trigger point of the wake rigid body. So this is saying when the event falling is called, I want you to wake up my shape cube and by waking it up that means it's the equivalent of checking that box that says start awake and that will trigger the physics to be simulated. So let's compile that blueprint, save everything and play our movie. So you can see there the cube was triggered about a second into our five second matinee.